Hey everybody, this is Brian Gardner, Principal Developer Advocate at WP Engine. In today's video, I'm gonna walk through how to build an interactive brand guide using the Frost WordPress theme and WordPress blocks, something that you can deliver to clients that will showcase their brand logo, their brand colors, typography, buttons, and more. Let's get started. All right, so what we're looking at here is a sample brand guide using the Frost WordPress theme. You can see this is a way to demonstrate uh, logo design, uh, brand colors, uh, fonts, and buttons. And so uh, this is what we're gonna build. And we're gonna start with a blank page using the Frost theme. And this is what a blank page looks like just to get us started. Uh, so I'm gonna go back in to the page. And the first thing I'm gonna do is wrap everything in a group. What this allows me to do is uh, set the background color and uh, we'll go ahead and do that. So we're gonna kick things off with the group. Uh, we're gonna do that. Go to alignment and I'm gonna go full width and then set the background color over here. On the right side is a setting for the group block. We're gonna set it to the, the contrast color. So this will set the entire page uh, in a background color. Now, speaking of page, I'm gonna go here to page and we're gonna use what's called the blank template inside of Frost. And what that does is it loads nothing other than what's on the content or the post editor here. So there's no header, there's no footer, there's nothing else. And it allows us sort of a blank canvas uh, to use. And so I'm gonna update. I'll just refresh the screen and you can see this is the regular page template in Frost. And this is now, uh, it's not showing anything with the background color yet because there's nothing in the group, but that would be what we're looking at. Okay, so looking at our example, what we wanna do is we just wanna type I'm gonna copy this here. We just wanna set the heading, so we're gonna do that. Uh, also, what I'm gonna do is, oops, change the text color to white. And we want to center that text. Uh, in addition to that, we wanna add a little bit of padding uh, around this up here, uh, top and bottom of the group. And so I'm gonna select the group here and we're just gonna add a little bit of top and bottom padding just to kind of give it some space. Uh, maybe we'll go uh, 40 pixels here. Okay, so we've got the heading and looking at here, what we need to do is uh, add another group so that we could get the white section. And so uh, I'm gonna go here, we're gonna add another group. And I'm gonna set the background color of that group to white. Uh, and then looking at this, we wanna add a little bit of padding around the group uh, and so I'm gonna set padding of that group top and bottom. We'll do large. Frost uses the large, uh, the t-shirt sizing. So small, medium, large, that sort of a thing. And there are increments of 20 pixels. And so uh, what we've got here. Now by default, you can see that this uh, wrapped section is only 640 pixels uh, because the, uh, that is what the default content width is set here for the large group. Uh, what we wanna do is we wanna change that to 960. This will allow the, the contents inside of the main group uh, to span 960 pixels. And so uh, I'll go ahead and hit update. We could take a look and see what we've got here. And so now we're, we're kind of getting to the, um, the foundation here. We're going to increase this. This is going to be an H1, which will make this a little bit larger. Uh, okay, so now that we have that, we're going to start with this first section. Uh, we're going to do a little bit of a, a heading here. We'll call this logo design. I'm just going to put in some of the elements uh, and from there we can um, style them. So we have a three column layout there with the um, the images. And so I'm going to go ahead and uh, we'll start with the black version first. I'm going to then add another image. This will be the blue version. And then I'm going to add the last one and then we'll see what we've got and then how we want to style those. So I'm going to go ahead and hit update. Uh, okay, so now we can see we've got some of the elements here. Um, what I want to do is uh, inside of uh, this group block, I'm going to actually disable this inner blocks use content width because it's forcing everything to be 640. Uh, so if I disable that, you can see it kind of spans out a little bit. Uh, now, as you can see, this one might look better with a border. This will help give it some uh, definition. And then each of the images, I'm just gonna go to full size just to make sure we're uh, at the optimal uh, viewing. So 
And then here uh, we've got uh, on the sample, we've got small text and we've got um, uppercase. So I'm gonna go ahead, I've got the heading selected. We wanna use letter case here. We're gonna make that uh, that and we're gonna, let's just go um, extra small. And so that looks like uh, what we've got there. Uh, maybe not, we'll go to, we'll go to this. So we've got logo design and we've got this. I'm gonna update and we'll see what we've, where we're at. Cool. Uh, now you can see here the spacing in between these images is a little bit smaller than the default spacing, the block gap that uh, Frost has, which is 30. Uh, so I'll show you how to do that. We're gonna select the columns and we're gonna go to settings and you can see here block spacing. Uh, this is a slide scale, which allows you again with a similar t-shirt size, we're gonna go to small, which would be 20 pixels spacing in between. This will keep them together a little better. So we've got our first section here. Now we wanna do uh, the next section here called brand colors. And so what I'm gonna do is again, I'm gonna add a heading. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and add the next heading here. We're gonna call this brand colors. And we will go to letter case. And I think we had small. And so we've got that. Now looking at, we've got one, two, three, four, five columns. And so I'm gonna go ahead and underneath this, just add, to start with two and we can increase the columns to five. Oops, increase the columns to five. Now the first one, uh, we're gonna go ahead and put a group inside of there. What that'll allow us to do is uh, set a background color to it, which is gonna be, we'll start, what is this? The, the black and then the blue, got it. Uh, we're gonna start with the black and maybe we wanna just give it some height uh, so that it kinda stands tall. And so we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing here. Gonna add a group going to set the background color to the primary color blue. And then again, we'll set this to 250 pixels and add a group, set the background color to the blue, the dark blue, uh, come down here, 250, one more group, set the background color to gray, which is neutral. And then last but not least, uh, add another group. Set this background color to white. And similar to the image above, we're gonna go ahead and just um, give this group a border. Uh, one pixel, we got to set the height. And we can see here, I'm gonna go ahead and hit update. Let's see how things look. All right, so we're getting there. And uh, similar to the, the gap spacing here, we wanna go ahead and change uh, inside of the columns. We wanna change the block spacing to tighten that up a little bit, we'll do that. And then underneath each uh, of the colors, we wanna use a hex code. Uh, so I'll just go ahead and inside of this column, we're gonna add, uh, just we'll do some paragraph. So we're gonna add the hex code, we're gonna center it. Uh, perhaps make this a little bit smaller. And then similarly, inside of this column, gonna add a paragraph. Gonna center that text, make that a little bit smaller. And so we're gonna go just inside each column and do that really quickly. Shouldn't take too long. Gonna get inside this column. E E E E E E. Last but not least, we've got to get our white color selected. I'll uh, go ahead and update, and we can see what we've got. Okay, so uh, first thing I'm going to call out is the spacing in between uh, the color and the font. This is again a black gap thing. You can see there's 30 pixels by default. Uh, so if I go into uh, this column and go to settings, uh, you can see black spacing. What this does is it changes the spacing. Uh, I want to hug tight, so I'm going to actually customize that to 10. And so similarly, I'll just go in through each one, change that to 10. You can see the font move or the text move up.
And we are definitely looking good and getting there. Get inside the column, go to settings, block spacing. I'm gonna go ahead and hit update. Uh, and you can also see in between each section here, there's a little bit of space, more vertical space than what we have uh, right here. So what we can do is um, we can add uh, some top margin to this heading. I'm gonna select margin here. Uh, you can see what happens when I do ch the top margin. We're gonna go ahead and we'll just add maybe that. We can see where we're at and how we look compared to the original. Okay, so now we've got some vertical spacing here. Uh, we're getting there. Now looking back at the uh, next layout, we are gonna do a, a two column layout down here below because this uh, sample text will be in one column and then the buttons will be in another. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and go back into our group. We're gonna add a, another columns block and we'll go 6033. We wanna start with our heading. We're gonna, I'm gonna copy this over. Outfit regular light. Uh, once again, we want to letter case that and we want to reduce the size of it. So now we see that uh, on the right hand side, we've got buttons. So I'll just go ahead over here, add a heading here. We'll call that buttons and style that as we want. Uh, and then down below here, we've got a sample heading and then I'm going to copy this lorem ipsum so that we can move that forward. So, uh, so we're in this column. We want to add the heading sample heading you can showcase what a sample heading looks like for folks uh, we're going to just add this paragraph and this is a link text and so we'll just copy this over kind of give it a fake link to see how things look and there we go uh, similarly uh, we've got um, we want to add some spacing so i'm going to grab this whole columns all together and we're going to go back to the margin top and we're going to give it that large format. Uh, now we're going to go over here and we've got four different buttons here we're going to showcase. Uh, and so I'm just going to go into this column where we want to add the buttons block. Um, so this is going to be primary. Nope. We'll start with fill. And then we've got primary, secondary, outline. Now, obviously you can see that um, what we need to do is go into each button. We want to assign 100% width to each button. In this case, this will stretch everything out. Uh, so in here, we're going to go fill. We'll just set this down to the black. Uh, this one's already primary. Secondary color, we want to assign um, the background color there. And then outline here, uh, this has a uh, custom, what's called a black style, so you can select outline over here, and what it does is it kind of gives you an outline. Uh, now looking at this, these buttons are squared, and so by default, Frost has a five pixel border radius, so if you don't want that, you can just go inside of each button down here to radius and select a zero radius. And then here on the outline, I'll just show you if for some reason you wanted to do like a rounded button, you could do something like that for each one. I'm going to select zero uh, as well. Now I'm going to do a quick update and we will see how the brand guide's looking. Perfect. Uh, so we've just got a little bit of just spacing here. So uh, if we wanted to change the width, I think maybe it's 70 30. So I'm going to go into this column change that to 30. We'll go into this column, change that to 70. Now, if you want to change the spacing that's in between the columns, again, you can select the columns block and then over here you can adjust the block app. This just adds more spacing in between them. Um, maybe we'll just go with the 40 pixels. So I'm going to go ahead and hit update and I think we're pretty much there. So now we've got logo design, we've got the three logos. We got the brand colors and we've got some sample font. We got a sample link and we've got the sample buttons. And so as we compare against the two, 
um, we've got it all set. And so uh, obviously you could do some, some treatment here. I think uh, the text here in these hex codes are a little bit darker. So by default, this is using, uh, if you go to typography and appearance, we can change that to medium, which darkens it, regular, which is what it's set for in the example, because by default, Frost uses the light weight. Uh, so I'll just go ahead here and select regular for each of those. Helps just make it a little bit more readable. Go to appearance, regular, and there we go. Go ahead, hit update. And of course, you know, you could change the the size of this. You can change this if you wanted that really, really bold. You could just change uh, the font weights in any of these elements here. Uh, and that's kind of the beauty here of WordPress. You get to sort of design and click and change things the way you want them to. Uh, go back here. For some reason, if you wanted this entire group, you want to showcase something different, uh, you could use uh, a different color. You could do white. And if you did white, what you could also do is take this group and give it a border. These are just some interesting ways you could do something like that. I'll go ahead and update. You can see what this looks like. So there's all different kinds of ways to, to style uh, this. And so uh, I'll go back to the basics and Frost also has some predetermined gradients. And so this might be a really cool way to do this. This might be my favorite actually. Uh, go ahead and hit update and we can finish up here and see how this looks. And so uh, it uses the gradient background color. So for the brand guide, uh, you can showcase it goes from this blue here, the primary blue blends that up to the top at uh, pure black. So, um, and there we have it. This is a online uh, brand guide. I'm using local, uh, our WP Engine development product here as a just place to play around with this. But you could actually on your Frost-based website, create a page assign the blank template and do the, uh, the brand guide. And you can send that link out to people. And then th that way they can see how their brand uh, looks and you guys can kind of go back and forth and do customizations from there. So it's really that easy. And um, that is another walkthrough of how to build something cool with Frost and WordPress. And thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, drop a comment in uh, the YouTube channel here underneath the video and I'd be happy to answer them for you. Once again, I'm Brian Gardner. Principal Developer Advocate at WP Engine, creator of the Frost WordPress theme, lover of WordPress, and design aficionado. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you again.